Thanks. The body of Alfred Sloan, wealthy eccentric, was discovered last night in Washington Park. He had been strangled and robbed. The police are proceeding on the theory that Sloan was the victim of a gang of hoodlums. Uh, Park apartment. Who the devil are you? I'm Peter J. Goodfellow. I wonder if I have one of my cards with me. Where did you get that cigarette case? It was bequeathed to me by an elderly gentleman I met in the park. Poor chap, he, he was foully done in only last night. <laughs> I witnessed the shocking affair myself. Did you see the man who did it? Oh, yes, as clearly as I can see you now. I wonder what I should do about the IOU I found in this case. It was signed by someone named Ralph Cowell. You won't find it there. I had the foresight to remove it. A Mr. Cowell. Very valuable, that IOU. So it's blackmail, is it? Oh, come, must we use that word? I was reduced to my deplorable state through my own follies, uh, wine, women, and song. I have no voice, but should the occasion warrant it, uh, I shall sing like a canary. How much do you want? Oh, I'm sure we can reach an amicable settlement. Shall we meet at your apartment at, say, nine this evening? No, not my place. Oh, yes, at your place. <laughs> I would prefer it. Thank you. Uh, driver! Darling, aren't you ready? What? Oh, for heaven's sake, Ralph. You know very well we're due at the Fairleys for the weekend. I'm sorry, darling. I can't make it. I have a business appointment. At this hour? Look, if I'm going to pay all your charge accounts, I've got to work day and night. Oh, poor baby. You have been working too hard. But you do want me to look beautiful for you, don't you? Should I call the Fairleys and tell them we can't make it? Don't do that. Tell you what, you take the car and drive on out. Uh, I'll get a train later on. Hmm? All right, darling. We'll make it as soon as you can. Just as soon as I finish here. All right. Ah, my dear chap. A pleasant good evening to you. What's the idea? I thought we agreed on 9 o'clock. I observed the lady of the house leaving. I saw no reason to wait. <coughs> Uh, uh, uh. Who is this? Let me present my old friend and colleague, Mr. Fenton Shanks. Pleased to meet you. The good fellow has been touting you up as a winner. Nice place you got here. Fenton is my financial advisor. As a devotee of the sport of kings, he's amazingly adept at calculating the odds. My system has produced 17 winners in the past week. Unfortunately, they've all been paper bets, if you know what I mean of my own. Ah, that's true of all three of us. With me, it's this. With Fenton, the gambling fever. And with you, Mr. Cowell. Never mind that. Let's get on with it. How much do you want for the IOU? Well, now, let me see. Uh, 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 say a thousand. How does that sound to you? It has a nice ring to it. So be it. <laughs> One thousand uh, dollars a month. Are you crazy? I don't have that kind of money. Oh, come, come. You have a lucrative business and no partner to split the profits with. But a thousand dollars a month? Why, that's impossible. Think of the alternative, Mr. Cowell. <laughs> a murder is frowned upon in prison society. Only how do we make sure of regular payments? A pigeon could just fly away and uh, forget to leave a forwarding address. My dear boy, you've put your finger on the loophole. How do you suggest we plug it? May I call your attention to the excellent guest room? You mean take up residence here? A capital suggestion. Y you can't do that. How about my wife? I'll pay you the thousand every month. When do we move in? Uh, I take it we've already done so. <laughs> Unless you've got some packing to do. Not me. Mr. Cowell will supply us with anything we want. <laughs> but don't put yourself out, my dear chap. 
Simply look upon us as members of the family. Ah, <laughs> oh, my dear. <laughs> well, 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 uh, you must be Cousin Herta. Who are you? Cousin Peter. And this is Cousin Fenton. Pleased to meet you, Cousin Herty. Bounced your husband on my knee when he was a little punk. Ralph's never told me anything about cousin. An oversight, no doubt. What's going on here? Where's Ralph? Oh, the poor chap's resting. He, he's feeling a little under the weather, I believe. <sighs> a rare wench, to say the least. I got a hunch he's trouble. Aren't they all? The only reason I never mention them is because we just don't talk about that side of the family. I can see why. Look, we all have relatives we're not proud of. Well, maybe, but you don't have to invite them into my home. It's my home. And they're going to stay right here until I find a way to get rid of them. It's very easy. Just walk in there and throw them out. Ah, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, I do. It seems that your family is more important to you than I am. Darling, you know that isn't true. Look, for my sake, please try to put up with them. I promise you they'll be gone within a week. All right, Ralph. But remember, one week. Okay, one week. Herda? Oh, Ralphie. Sorry to trouble you, pal, but I find myself temporarily out of funds. What, again? What's wrong with that system? You haven't had a winner for three weeks. Nothing. The nags just ain't been following it. Yeah, well, that's tough. You've had all you're gonna get from me. A cigarette, Ralphie? What are you doing with that case? Oh, a little knick-knack good fella gave me. Now about that loan. I'm in hot to my bookie for about... Ralph! Ralph, my furs, they're gone. My mink stole. Everything's stolen. You took them. The skins? Yeah. I had to pawn them yesterday. Or was it the day before? No, that was the day I sold the silverware. But don't worry, Ralphie. Here are the tickets. You can bail them out someday. Why don't you sell the furniture, too? That's all that's left. You've ruined my business, cleaned out my bank account, taken every cent I've got. What more do you want? Don't get excited, Ralphie. I'll just have to pawn something else, that's all. What are you doing? What does it look like? I've got news for you. I've had it. Honey, please. Listen, you've been telling me for a month that you'd get rid of them, and nothing happens. What have they got on you? Enough to hang me. Heard her, I killed a man. You did what? I must have been out of my mind. We needed money. He was a silent partner. I figured that if I got rid of him, I, everything would be mine. So I killed him. Good fellow saw me do it. I can't believe it. You actually killed somebody. I never thought you had it in you. Well, neither did I. But I was desperate. You're desperate now, Ralph. And good fellow is in our guest room. It would be self-defense. He attacked you. I couldn't do that. Not a second time. He's asleep. It would be so simple. But fixed I hear a voice cry, sleep no more. Macbeth doth murder sleep. A classic parallel, don't you think? Going out. Meadow leading by... 